everyone welcome back to our channel today we are going to do two questions on certs which are really helpful for iit je exams and also ntsc olympiad examinations let's look at the first question find the value of square root of 1 by 2 square root of 1 by 2 square root of 1 by 2 and so on up to infinity so the question may look difficult and different but it is easy to solve using a technique what i am going to take i am going to take x as the given sir square root of 1 by 2 square root of 1 by 2 square root of 1 by 2 so multiple sorts complex sorts let x is equal to this now let's leave this 1 by 2 if i consider from here until infinity that is also x isn't it because i have already considered x as square root of 1 by 2 square root of 1 by 2 square root of 1 by 2 it can be any number infinity so leaving this 1 by 2 from here from the second 1 by 2 till infinity it is equal to x isn't it so this equation can be written as square root of 1 by 2 this whole thing is x let me write it as x now the question becomes easier squaring both sides so that we can get rid of the square root on the right side squaring both sides x square is equal to square root of 1 by 2 x the whole square let me continue on the right side x square is equal to we know very well that square root and square get cancelled we have only 1 by 2x now let me take this to the left side which will become minus 1 by 2x is equal to 0 it is a quadratic equation solving quadratic equations let me consider factoring method take the highest common factor which is x outside and the remaining terms are x minus simply 1 by 2 this is equal to 0 using product rule zero property if the product is zero any one of them or both of them should be zero then only the answer is zero so either x is equal to zero or x is equal to 1 by 2 now let's substitute and check which value which x value is true for the given expression of given sir it is not true for x equal to 0 actually x not equal to 0 which is not possible let me substitute 1 by 2 and show it should satisfy this equation now x is equal to 1 by 2 and on the other side also 1 by 2 times 1 by 2 if i replace x with 1 by 2 1 by 2 is equal to square root of 1 by 4 1 by 2 is equal to 1 by 2 which is true so that means the third the given expression is equal to the value of the given third is 1 by 2 only not 0 so this is the answer for this question i hope you understand children let's do the second question here we have had a product 1 by 2 square root of 1 by 2 1 by 2 1 by 2 so there are nested thirds now this question is having a plus in the middle square root of 12 plus square root of 12 plus square root of 12 again you have nested thirds until infinity again we need to find the value of this third i'm going to follow the same technique consider x is equal to let x is equal to this whole thing the given third square root of 12 plus square root of 12 plus square root of 12 plus and so on up to infinity once again this alone is can also be written as x let me rewrite the equation 12 is there this 12 plus x again now the equation becomes easier squaring both sides will give you x square is equal to square root of 
12 plus x the whole square. Again, we know that the square root and square get cancelled. It is simply 12 plus x. I am going to bring both 12 and x to the left side. I want to make the right side 0 so that it is a quadratic. Let me continue in the next page. So, x squared, bring the x to the left side, minus x. Bring the 12 to the left side, left side minus 12 is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation which can be solved using factoring method. I hope you remember factoring method children. Consider the constant alone, minus 12. Find out the two factors of minus 12 whose sum is the middle coefficient which is minus 1. Let's think about the two factors of 12. 1, 2, also 12, 2, 6 are 12. They are not giving us negative 1. Go for 3, 4s. Four. 4, 3s are 12 and also the difference between the 4 and the 3, 1. Now, to decide which one is negative, look at the answer. It should be negative 1 after adding. So, larger number should be negative. Then only when you add, the answer will be negative 1. And when you multiply, the answer will be negative 12. So, these are the two correct factors, two correct numbers. Now, rewriting the middle term or splitting the middle term using the factors we got. We can able to directly write the two factors, but still I am showing you step by step. Now, factor by grouping. Take the common factor from the first two which is x. Now x minus 4 plus 3. 3 is the common factor. x minus 4 which is equal to 0. Now as you know whenever you do factor by grouping these two brackets to be the same then only your steps are correct. Now x minus 4 binomial is common. Take it out. Now the remaining terms are x and 3. x plus 3 is equal to 0. Now, again using product rule, the 0 property, either x minus 4 is 0 or x plus 3 is 0. When you take it to the other side, x is equal to positive 4 and when you take this to the other side, negative 3. So, among 4 and negative 3, only 4 possible, we can ignore the negative answer. So, the value of 12, square root of 12, square root of 12, plus square root of 12, plus and so on, infinity is equal to 4 only. Okay, students, I hope you understood both the questions completely without any doubt. If you find this video helpful, kindly share it with your friends and family. Please do like and subscribe our channel for more such questions. Thank you.